forecast. Frank, uh, I'm afraid we're up for some cold weather here, right? Yeah, that's right. It's going to be another chilly night tonight. There's really no other way to say it other than a cold day today. And a cold night's on the way, but thankfully some warmer weather is in the forecast. Here's a live shot from our Winterset SchoolNet uh, webcam down there. This is uh, Jefferson Street. You can't really see it, but it runs this way. And then uh, looking back toward the square down there in Madison County. Clear skies uh, earlier today, but uh, now we have some clouds out there. That's actually going to help keep our temperature from falling too low tonight, currently at 43 degrees. Winds have died back a little bit. They are out of the west, uh, currently at about five miles per hour. High today across the state, a little bit cool off to the north. Really cool everywhere, but cooler off to the north. Lower 50s for Mason City and Fort Dodge. We did make it into the mid 50s here in Des Moines. Now, off to the north right now, uh, the coolest part of the state. Ames right now at 39 degrees. Ought to have been just down to the west at 43. A tumble down to the south and east. Temperatures there already cooling down into the upper 30s. But those winds have dialed back quite a bit. Thankfully, because that really put a bite in the air earlier today, currently out of the south and west at about five here in the metro. So most locations under 10 miles per hour. Now the wind chills aren't bad right now, but still very cool, especially off to the north. Feels more like 30 degrees for Mason City and 33 for Fort Dodge, still 40 here in the metro. But uh, that's still pretty cool. So if you're out and about tonight, definitely grab that jacket or that sweatshirt or both because it's uh, still pretty cool. Satellite radar, more clouds on the way with a system off to the north and west. And we had that sunshine earlier today, but as we progress throughout the afternoon, more clouds filtering in. So it was a mix of sun and clouds, and that's the way it'll be to end out the weekend. Let's track things with future casts. Notice this area of low pressure going to be swinging in as we head throughout uh, the next couple of days, and that will be bringing us uh, the chance for more cloud cover. As well. Let's track it all with future cast from the statewide perspective, starting things off at 11 o'clock tonight. Again, we will see the clouds, and that will actually act as almost insulation. So we have radiational cooling when we don't have that cloud cover. In other words, the heating of the day escapes into the outer levels of the atmosphere. So the clouds hanging around tonight, that will keep our temperature from falling too much. 2 a.m. waking up Sunday morning off to the north and west might see an isolated chance for a shower. That may continue throughout the afternoon hours, but uh, otherwise, just a cloudy day for Sunday. Might see a few peaks of sunshine. It will be warmer with the wind out of the west and southwest, uh, pumping in just a little more heat for us. Four o'clock in the afternoon Sunday. Can't rule out an isolated shower, especially off to the north of Highway 20. Better chances here in the metro as we head throughout to the evening hours and into the afternoon on Sunday. Lows tonight, it'll be a chilly one. Many spots in the low to mid 30s here in Des Moines, 38 degrees. It will be chilly, lighter winds. Sunday, not too bad, at least temperature wise. Be waking up in the 30s, the 40s already by the middle part of the morning, and then warming up into the 60s by the afternoon again with that chance for an isolated shower. So we'll call it 63 degrees tomorrow, 65 on Monday. Look at Tuesday, 70 degrees, a couple warm days on the way from the middle part of the week. And then another frontal system passes through Thursday, brings us a chance of rain, and we'll fall back into the lower 60s by the end of the week.